Welcome back everybody, Sport Federation TV. We carry on talking about sport in the Western Cape. Now over the last few weeks, we've been uh, focusing a lot on chess um, and chess has been taking full advantage of this platform that we have here on Sport Federation TV. And that's been fantastic to see what their president, Andre Levax and his team have been up to. Uh, a lot of course um, uh, during the lockdown period where the uh, uh, chess athletes have been able to practice and compete via the digital medium. Now, coming up uh, soon is a uh, women's tournament in the world of chess. And to tell us more about that, we've got Anzal Lopesha um, on the line. Now, Anzal is, of course, a chess champion, a master's champion in her own right. Anzal, it's fantastic to see you again. Hi, JP. Hi, everyone. It's nice to be back and also nice to, to see you. Yes, uh, you're, of course, no stranger to Sports Federation TV. You've been on this show uh, um, many times, either with myself or with Alton Davids. But I, I think in many cases, we were talking about your own chess experience. Um, we've, you've got such a string of titles behind your name. Uh, where are we at now? What is the latest title? Um, at the moment, I am the attempting attempting mouse title i'm trying to figure out the you know the mouse for the computer because that's <laughs> where, how we play nowadays that is a, a struggle i mean especially for my generation the youngsters are so quick on the on the controls on the computer to play online but for for us oh it's a struggle but yeah so that's where i'm at at the moment um jeff you know everything is all our international tournaments and national tournaments everything had to come to an halt at the moment due to COVID, yeah, unfortunately. Anzel, um, give me the title again. Let me, let me go through this. Let me do this the right way because I think we've got to make sure that people understand who it is that, that I'm talking to here. Uh, you're a master champion or is a chess master. How do I say it? I'm a women's international master. Yes, that's women's... the... Right. How do you become a women's international master? Well, you need to play certain tournaments and then win certain tournaments. And in in nowadays, you need to get ob obtain a certain rating as well. So it's quite a challenge to do that. And it, most of them are international tournaments. And that's why it's so hard for us as South Africans. Yes. Because you, we you, you, often you, have to travel abroad. Yeah. I mean, you've ticked some of those boxes. You've specifically traveled overseas. So that you can, and uh, uh, so that you were in a position to compete with the best in the world. Yes, yes, JP. I actually did the math the other day. I played in thirty-three countries in my life so far, and to more of half of them, I went to more than once. Like for instance, I, Spain, I went to eleven times already. India, nine times. So just to name a few, but chess took me all over the world. Yes, which I'm is the best country? Blessed. Which is the top country in the world for chess? Um, I would say, obviously, okay, Russia and China and even India um, are, are good countries in chess. But to play for us coming from South Africa, I would, I would definitely advise anyone to go to, to Spain. My, oh, my heart is in Spain. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about women's chess. You've got a tournament coming up on the 8th of August specifically a women's tournament. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, it's on the 8th of August. Um, in fact, last year we, we had it at Club Mykonos. Or we had a women's, the Western Cape Women's Tournament at Club Mykonos. It was absolutely amazing. It felt like, it literally felt like playing in Greece, to be honest. And the organizers did such a lot of, uh, went through such a lot of effort and they wanted to do it again this year, but obviously now we can't. And so they thought it well to have it again over the long weekend for, for Women's Month or for Women's Day. And we will have it on the 8th of August. It's an online event from 4 o'clock in the afternoon until 6 o'clock in the evening. And there are different sections that you can play in. There's a blitz, which is three minutes aside, which is quite fast. And this is where the, the mouse power comes in, you know, right, to right. figure that story out. <laughs> and, and then also a rapid, which is 15 minutes aside. So we, we, in general, I think we try to steer away from too long um, time controls on the rounds, because normally when we would play this in, a, in normal circumstances, it will be 90 minutes aside. Yeah. So it will be 90, 90 or 60, 60 for the, for the minimum. Yeah. But playing online, the longer the time control, 
the bigger the risk or opportunity for cheating, but it's more unlikely because yeah, the yeah. time is the best to go. So you've got all these different controls in place. Um, is, it, is the tournament open for, for any woman? Everyone in South Africa, yes. Age so it's groups? An open no, no limit. No limit. Right. So From 4 to do, 100. How does that work then? Would you have someone very young competing with someone that's a little yes. bit older? Yes, yes, that's how it works. So you play against someone. It's a Swiss tournament. So you play against someone who's on the same score as you are. So in the first round, everyone obviously starts with zero. And um, then it's often that they rank it according to the rating. So your first round, you might have, if, you are, if you're in the bottom half of the ranking, then you might, most probably, you will have a very strong opponent or much stronger, yeah. So the tournament starts on the 8th of August. It's an online registration. It's an online game process. Does everybody start at exactly the same time at 4 o'clock? Are you drawn in yes. advance or how does that work? Yes, we play on Lee Chess. It's a, plat a chess platform. Right. So um, they start the, they start the event at, at four o'clock, and they will have the pairings up before that. So you can see who you're playing. So I will see. I will play JP Nodia, or again in this case Jocelyn Nodia, and um, <laughs> and then you know who you're playing in the first round. So you finish your game, and then you just have to hang around um, your computer to to see when the last game finish and then they do the pairings immediately and the next round will start so you actually have to stick around and and, and pay attention how do they let you know if you win now and you're now playing in, in the next round how do you know that you are uh, when when it, when that starts or does that also start at a specific time well it, it depends it depends on the organizers so if they put out the round times um, it will most probably be at a specific time, but it depends on the on the event. It depends on the tournament. Yeah, I'm sure they will stipulate this closer to the time as well. Is it only but open it's, to it's South Africa? Sorry, carry on. It's often it's it's often a challenge. Um, yes. I don't know. We played. We had a, a ladies team that played in a, in a, a nation, nations cup a few weeks ago, on the Saturday and. Then we ha we have our WhatsApp group as well, you know, to see when when someone finish or something. Yeah. And then often you sit at, at that computer and you want to get just grab a glass of water or something, and then you realize, <gasps> but you don't want to miss out, you know, because your game might start. So I'm sure they will they will work around that and, and make a plan for that. Yes. <laughs> How important is this tournament for women's development, women's sport? Well, JP. Um, I think it's a very nice opportunity for for girls to just feel part of something again. You know, we all miss the chess, we all miss the tournaments, we miss that um, togetherness. You know, just just playing and, and knowing that that um, someone else is doing what I'm doing now that I that I normally see at tournaments. So also this 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 will first of all bring women together or us yeah. girls together for for the event. Um, and so I think that's that's the first thing. And to play uh, some of the top ladies in the country, yeah, because most of, of the top the top guns will will pull up. Yes. And so we're going to leave it at that. Um, I'm not sure how you're going to send us pictures because it's obviously a virtual event. Um, but we certainly look forward to catching up with you again so that we can find out how our Western Cape athletes did in the tournament. Uh, I will. You, you will. You will just see the medals. Um, we'll see the medals. The <laughs> and I'll just on a final note, then, how do people sign up if they want to sign up on the, uh, for the competition? Where do they go? Um, JP, I think the best is to to post the um, the the brochure for the event with with the um, maybe on Facebook and and social media as okay. well. So do um, that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, we're going to leave it at that, and we'll say good luck for the tournament. Of course, this is on the 8th of August. It's open to all women. Um, I'm assuming it's only open to women. Yes, Jocelyn. <laughs> right. It's only open to women. <laughs> right, folks, uh, yes. the 8th of August, um, women's chess tournament. Anzal, we say thank you for chatting with us. We'll catch up with you again soon, and we we'll hopefully find out the results and see how our Western Cape athletes have performed. Thank you, JP. Have a good weekend. Here we go, folks. Anzal Loebscher, um, one of South Africa's top, top uh, uh, chess 
athlete. So she's got international experience and, and certainly has got a, a lot of information to keep passing on to us. Um, the 8th of August then, folks, the Women's uh, Chess Tournament. And we're looking forward to seeing Western Cape athletes sign up and uh, make our uh, Western Cape Chess Federation uh, proud.